This project has been going on for years and years, and it will go on for years and years. It is only through lifelong commitment that things are possible. And this is also a object lesson in the only way things get done is as fast as a speeding acorn. <laughs> <laughs> to borrow an old, to borrow an old uh, adage from, uh, from the ADF folks, you know, uh, you only get a big oak from a very small, tiny little acorn that grows very slowly, and this has been growing for many years and will continue to. And what will come of this? Well, years from now, there will be essays written that only came into being because people encountered each other uh, while wandering in the sh amongst the shelves in the library. There's another thing. We don't have that many places where truly valuable writings can come into being and be understood. How many times have you tried to find a particular piece of, of esoteric knowledge and found that conventional ways of understanding and cataloging things is kind of pointless? One of the things this is the beginning of is also a deepening of our understanding of how to store the information, how to categorize those things that matter to us from a perspective of practitioners rather than, nothing wrong with academics, I like them. Nothing wrong with people that come from a you know, cultural anthropology perspective, but this is by us, for us. And there's another thing. We have always, from the beginning, said it will be every esoteric tradition. Doesn't matter if it's Sufi, doesn't matter if it's Wiccan, doesn't matter if it is from one of the branches of, of ceremonial magic. The point is, if there is something magical, if there's something esoteric, it belongs there. How long will we be doing this? The rest of our lives. How long will it go on after that? As many lives as I hope that uh, are present among the young in the room and also in those yet to be. What else will it do? Cherry Hill Seminary wants it as part of their process for becoming accredited to view it as their uh, library of record. What else will come into being? Possibly some journals or some uh, actually juried edited articles as opposed to let's go to Lulu and make up something. <laughs> In other words, we don't, until we have the equivalent of colleges where you can actually have uh, journals that are actually edited by people that know the material as opposed to, gee, it's well written, there are many things that we can't even anticipate that will come as a result of this. I'm going to ask that each of you try to imagine something that you hope to see in the future occur as a result of the library. Because when we're out there actually um, breaking ground and making libations and offerings to everything that's there, each of you hopefully will be planting a seed of this is something that I hope happens, comes into being as a result of the actions taken today. Will there always be a need for libraries, regardless of which direction information technology goes? Yes, because they are more than they appear. And walk in the world. Call upon the spirits of this land, the ancestors and the fae, the spirits of the depths, the spirits of the heights. To be present in this space, to be present with these people, this community. The tools of manifestation, the offerings of ourselves, the offerings, the manifestation of creation. Bless this world. Seeker's glory hidden by nothing, twice blessed, twice called, thrice revealed. Secret glory hidden by nothing, thrice blessed, thrice called, thrice revealed. As above, so below, spirit and matter in a dance of slow. As within, so
<laughs> yeah, let's go. All together now. And it is done. And, and it is done. 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 So mote it be. So mote it be.